is a year later their concurrent, representing Russia, Elisabetta Twinkameshova. How thrilling was it last season to watch Russia's Elisaveta Tutkomesheva climb back onto the podium at the World Championships for the first time since winning gold in 2015. So much young talent coming up in Russia. She spent some time on the peripheral of the women's competition conversation, but that has really changed. She's been dominant for so long. But she didn't make the team in Sochi. She didn't make the team in Pyeongchang. It's very clear that she wants to be on this Olympic team. This triple axel in the short program will help. Mm. <sighs> Butter. Empress did her job again. And what does she have over the rest of the Russian field? She has experience, competitive experience for years, a sense of identity. She knows how to train. She clearly knows what she wants. It's almost like she's gone through every life cycle as a Russian skater. And she's now come out on the other side. Like in my mind, I see Valieva as the caterpillar and Aliona's in that cocoon stage. But Elizaveta is really in her butterfly stage. She's living her best life out there, and I love watching this part of her career. She's just so confident and sure of who she is as a skater and a person. I've been friends with Lisa for a long time, and something that I've always been so impressed with is her character, especially in Russian sports. There's sort of an almost machine-like quality that they bring to their athletes. We'll get more into that in a second, but Lisa's triple axel right there, so strong. But there's a way to behave, there's a way to act, there's a way to skate. And Lisa uh, bucks all tradition and has always been her own empress. The triple Lutz, she has one of the best in women's skating into the triple toe loop. This looked a little close to me when she performed it and looked close there. Um, it was not called as under rotated or even with the question mark of a quarter so she got through that cleanly i don't agree with that i think that should have been called unfortunately she didn't get the reach back into the triple toe but i've never seen her this well prepared this early in the season 
she's been so close so many times and been in the conversation so many times. This is her fourth Olympic cycle that she's been through in her senior career. And with that comes so much experience and knowing who you are and how to get through it. And I just, I find so much empowerment from watching her. And I hope so many young skaters at home, you know, of course, we can marvel at the 15-year-old Russian genius. But watch Lisa Tuktemusheva. Look how hard she's worked and look how comfortable and secure she is in, in her own skin. And that ultimately leads to great performances no matter your age. And just the staying power, Johnny. We talk about how there's a new Russian every year. Last Olympic cycle, Zagitova came out of nowhere, won the Olympics. Valieva may do that again this Olympic cycle. But Elizaveta has been here for, for a decade and still is relevant. The scores, please. Tukdemisheva, now 25 years old, in her 11th season competing on the Grand Prix Series, and possibly better than she's ever been before. She'll go over 80, 81.24. It's a good score, but it's not enough to overtake the incredible number put up by Valieva earlier in the competition.